So they're asking, should you pay bank checking account charge offs? If you get a charge off from your bank, I suggest that you pay it because if you don't, it's going to be on your check systems. And I told you guys about check systems before. Check systems is the system that a lot of banks use to find out if you paid your debt or if you have any fraudulent activity on your um, accounts, if there is any bank accounts that you did not pay off. So if you did not pay off your bank checking account, then not only you have that charges from your credit report, but you're actually messing up your check systems too. So I do suggest that you pay it off. Like a lot of times when you mess up with the bank, you can actually settle that debt. I messed up with the bank before. I think my account, when I messed up with the bank, I owed them, I'll say I owed them like $1,500 to $2,000. That was like one of the first accounts I ever settled too. Like my first time settling an account. And this is the thing they offered me to pay, I think like $700 and I paid it, but I didn't understand at that time that they already messed up my check systems. And it just, it was, it would have only went down from there because it was already on my credit reports. So I always tell people in life, I'm telling you, this is like the major thing. I know I tell you guys like, don't pay collections. Don't do this. Don't do that. It's certain circumstances. Like we're to the point where we're, after you turn 18 or even we should start teaching our children this very young. If you were to get any money from anybody, if you were to get anything from anybody, you should definitely pay them back. Even if it's on the bad, even if on bad terms, like you get a car and you got a 25% interest rate on your car, you agree to pay it when you drove, drove off the lot with that car or you agree to pay it when you met you maybe you went over. I, I, I think I um, wrote a check or something and I knew I couldn't, um, cash it at the time. I knew it wasn't going to go through. So that's why my account went negative. So I got to understand at that time, like I need to pay this thing because it's going to mess up my check system and it's going to mess up my credit reports. And if I ever think about getting a house, getting a car, getting anything in the future, it's going to be so much harder for me. So I always tell people, especially when it's dealing with your bank accounts, that's very, a lot of people can get a regular bank account to the point where they're just on net spend cards. They don't even have a real bank account. Like do not mess up your banking history like that's even worse to me than credit reports messing with your banking history like seriously so if you have this type of account where it's a charge off and it's from a bank account definitely um pay it off i do suggest you pay it off especially if you know that you actually owe it for sure and try to see if you can settle it out a lot of these companies will settle for 50 percent on the debt so say if you owe a thousand dollars try to see if you can pay 500 dollars. now i told you guys like my account when i messed up with the bank it was like 1500 to like two thousand dollars i only paid 700 dollars. so to try to settle it out they want to work with you excuse me so make sure you definitely settle it out i'm not gonna forget about your questions i'm not gonna forget about your questions but i am so gassy y'all please don't pay me any attention if i'm just up here burping like some roll me <laughs> i'm just so gassy Oh, okay. So let me see. This is a good question. This is a very good question. Let me put this down. So somebody asked, after so attempts, why do you now ask for another 50 bucks? So if you guys are if you guys are working on your credit, I always tell you guys you have to send out the basic dispute.